Good morning, welcome to BOTV HQ, Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, presenter here at BOTV. We're here this morning to judge the Dream Car competition and the Lifestyle competition, running from the 19th to the 25th of November 2018. Just before I hand over to Alex, massive congratulations to both of our winners last week in the Dream Car competition, winning a brand new Audi RS4, uh, Tasib Hussein, and winning £10,000 in cold, hard cash in our lifestyle competition, Richard Mincham. I'm now going to hand over to Alex Brooks, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Alex Brooks from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges, and ask them to pick a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Firstly, Mr. Matt Cannon. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer, and I last played yesterday. Five. Next, Mr. Gareth Dineen. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. My name is Gareth Dineen. I'm a senior county referee, and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. I have six. Mr Hugh Gilroy. Morning Alex. Morning. Hi, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm an active referee. Next game is tomorrow night. Here's four. Mr Andy Braithwaite. Good morning Alex. Morning, my name's Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor and observer. Number one. Mm -hmm. Mr Alan Goma. Good morning Alex. <coughs> Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I've played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Number two. And Mr Kieran Fitzgibbon. Morning Alex. Hello, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years. I'm now a referee. And I've got number three. Okay judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to all come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, Kieran, could you please justify your positioning? Yes, mine's the red cross here. Um, I've looked at both players, their arms are interlocked. They both look like they're about to challenge for the ball. They're both focusing on the ball, so I've taken the eye lines from both players and put my cross where the eye lines meet. Okay, thank you. Next, Hugh. Yep, mine's the green cross here. Uh, two players in shot, as Kieran said. Uh, I just felt it was slightly further over uh, based on this player's eye line. Um, so I think they're both jumping to head it, but slightly across from this player mostly. Okay, thank you. Matt, could you please justify your position? Yes, mine's a blue cross. I'm a bit further over than uh, a few of my colleagues on the right hand side next to Andy. Um, I think the ball's out here in the, in the foreground. I think the ball's coming in. I think this player in green and white's favourite to win it. He's sort of locking the, the blue player back with his arm and I think he's going to come in and just have a little header. And I've taken his eye line at that level and I've cross-referenced them up at the centre of the ball there. Okay, thank you. Andy, could you justify your positioning please? Uh, thanks Alex. Um, pretty much the same as what Matt said there. I'm the orange cross, just uh, almost uh, next to blue. Um, again, as most people say, the two fellas are in the lock. They're both challenging for the ball. I feel that the guy in green is possibly going to just get there just ahead of him. The ball is coming in at pace. Um, whether they're off the ground or on the ground, I'm not sure, but that's why I've placed my orange cross here because I feel the ball's coming directly in. Thank you. Alan, could you please justify your position? <clears throat> yeah, uh, so we've got two players in the shots. I think the ball is in between the two, you know, uh, in, in plan. Um, I think, yeah, looking, I'm, I'm the lowest of the, you know, uh, compared to my colleagues. I think the player on the left is looking quite, you know, uh, horizontally. That's why I went a bit lower. But, um, yeah, no, if I, if I cross reference, you know, both eye lines, I think, you know, the, the center of the, of the body is where my cross is. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, last but not least, Gareth, could you please justify your position? Yeah, I think, as Matt has just said, I think the ball is in the foreground out here. I think the player in the green shirt is going to win it, uh, and he's concentrating the ball. I think he's got a higher eye line than, uh, than, Matt, than other people have said, so I think that's why my cross is up this way. I'm the purple cross, by the way. I think the guy in the blue shirt is concentrating on it. So his eye line, this eye line, ball in the foreground, that's where we put my cross. Thank you very much. OK, judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the six individual selections. Okay, we seem to have a, 
high group and a low group? Well, like the average out. I mean, if you oh, the average is fine. I've only got three yeah. at the lower a lower end and three. Those at the top. two balance each other. The yeah. orange and yeah. the purple balance each other. So I think the you know where the where the average the white cross is. You know, it's, 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 it's pretty good. You look at the guy in blue's eyes. Yeah, it's very intense. Yeah. yeah. But as Matt said, and I agree with him, it's the balls in the foreground. They're actually all very quite close together, aren't they? Yeah, yeah probably the width of the ball and yeah. pretty much yeah. where we all are. <coughs> well, because anybody needs crosses far from the average, is it? No. Nobody's a long way away. No, so anything I... Uh, I think it was the, the average. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm happy with that. It's pretty good. Thank you very much, judges. The coordinates selected are 1594916. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you very much. Thank you.